Hello everyone, Jamers290 here, and today I'm going to be playing a 1.19.2 map called Testing and Wasting Laboratories. Link to this map is in the description, so if you want to go download it for yourself, feel free. I'll also leave the name of the creator in the description as well. So let's get stuck right into this map. So, firstly, we have all of our different settings over here. Now, I've already gone through and set this up. However, I wanted you to walk you guys through the quickly how, the how to playbook because I find it quite interesting. So, we've got our how to playbook here. Uh, remember this. The map is never over. Once it is over, you'll definitely know. If you're unsure of the map, it just isn't over. If you find yourself not knowing what to do next, you are forgetting something. Use everything you have available to you. Another thing you another thing to remember if you're a multiplayer so no, it's, oh, okay. But we're not a multiplayer today, we're on single player. So that's exciting. So yes, alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to press play first. I think we'll definitely keep it to... Oh, do I want to go... No, they recommend... He recommends medium, so we'll stick with medium, I think. Okay, let's press start. Sure, yep. Yeah. Just me today. Analyzing. Analyzing computer. Oh, I did see that. Okay. Hello, oh, and welcome to testing and wasting laboratories. You have been selected to perform... Oh, I have got that open already. <laughs> you have been selected to perform some experiments with us. Please stand by while I load some of the necessary files. Hi. I am Numbka? I think that's how you would say that? You're always friendly artificial intelligence. I will be guiding you through your tests today. These tests are to measure your mental and physical fitness and to evaluate your kind. We are now preparing the testing areas for you. Please wait until everything is done. To make sure you won't escape, we put some magnetic boots on you, so you shouldn't really be able to escape. Un until then, Look at these plants I put there for you. I heard you humans love those. Can we do a... Oh, yep, so we can't jump. Oh, yeah. Plants. Is it going to load us into anything? Can we take them? Oh, we can take them off. We can take our magnetic boots off, which means we can jump over and check. I don't know whether we're supposed to take our... Magnetic boots off by chance. Is there something over by this tree? Oh, there's something up in there. There's something in there. Whoa, 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 whoa! That that scared me. That's a that's embarrassing. You know. Hey, what are you doing here? Didn't I tell? Didn't I tell you to wait until until I'm ready? Seems like I don't didn't secure your boots properly, but that's an easy fix. There you go. Don't the new boots look even better? They're a brand new innovation innovation from our 3D printing subdivision, printing and wasting services. <laughs> I like that. I'm not done with preparing the testing areas. Please have patience and wait for now. I'll set up something for you to sit down upon. Okay, we can't quite sit down on it.
feel like there should be some way to deal with this. But no, I'm too hard. Can I see a button or anything nearby? And we haven't even just begun and I'm only just sort of getting... Like, we can't just... It's interesting seeing all the things going off on the side here. Okay. I think they break anything. Okay. So I can use that pressure plate to my advantage. Oh, and uh, we'll be on top of these stairs. Oh, I did see that. It did allow me to walk onto that push. And everything's too far away. Okay. Let's have a look. His eyes are something that side. Center. Down. Can I take it off while he's not looking? Can I do something to things while he's a s Leave is that possible? I'm able to jump and I'm going to take these off. Okay, so I noticed he does go to sleep every so often, so that's going to have something to do with this. I have a feeling that this pressure plate has something to do with it. Like, I can't just take the boots off. Jump. Hmm. So it looks like the robot might have me beat, but I wonder. Can he. Well, he didn't do anything. Is there, like I said, is there a button or something that I can push? So he does seem to wake up every so often. Okay, so we're not getting out of here anytime soon, I don't think. Nothing where he's subbed up. There's nothing that you gotta crouch or. I do wanna try something, I'm wondering. Because he looks around. Let's see what happens, what happens once he wakes up. So he's asleep now, right? No, he's awake. Is he? Looks straight. Then to the left, right, center, down. So to the left, center, down. Do I go left? Left, right, 
Nothing is uh, down. No. I can't push these chairs or anything out. Okay, they're magnetic boots. Can I? I mean, that's iron bars. Is there a way I can attract by chance the iron bars to me? This I feel has something to do with it. There is a trapdoor over there that I can't seem to quite. Okay, so there's a trapdoor in that corner over there, guys. But I um I can't seem to reach it. Okay, let's see. I don't have a lot to work with here. I can't break anything. These are as much as I try to thoroughly stuck on. Um, I can't jump anywhere. I can't access that trap door from here. It's too out of reach. I'm going to escape this somehow. But there's no way of me doing it. I think the robot defeated me, eh? I'm probably missing a really obvious answer. Uh, a specific pin. It's a nice pattern. See, he keeps sleeping. I can't. Here, I can't break anything. Up there and these boots certainly do not come off. So the first one was a lot easier, this is a lot more challenging. I'm looking around, I'm trying to think what I have with it, but I can't break anything. So it's not that. Are you gonna get those things ready for me pretty soon, right? Yes. I just can't reach. That, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to take this off. Okay, let's see. What have I got? Let's let's stop. Let's think. What have I got at my disposal? Have I tried actually sitting on any of these seats? Because he said, okay, let's see. What's it going better? They're a brand new innovation from our 3D printing subdivision. Not done in the chest room. Please have patience. There's something for you to sit down upon. We certainly can't sit down upon these. Gonna check in case something becomes available to slip through by accident, or like one of these blocks is not like the other sort of thing, but only when you're crouching. I've had that in maps before, but I am not a hundred percent sure about this one. Yeah, I don't know whether I can change my game mode, whether I'm allowed to do that. Let's try. Q. 
can overcome his boots. Now he did say do not use slash trigger is all he said. I have a feeling this might still be glasses cheating. But all he said was to not use slash trigger. So I am gonna take full advantage of that. Because a lot of them say don't change game modes or stay in a particular game mode. But he did not. He said in the rules. So technically, this might be classed as cheating. But. It to me was the only logical way out. Need to escape again. Just don't do that in your own city. A lot of stuff could happen to you, you know. Look, I have installed cameras only for your safety. Of course. Only for your safety, of course. Testing areas prepared. You can you can now you can take the magnetic boots off now. We will now proceed to the first experiment here in testing and wasting laboratories. We want to examine. Oh, what's that happening? Okay. What do they want to do? We want to examine the capabilities of you humans to learn more about your species. Humans are supposed to be really bad at memorization. That will be your first, the first skill of yours. We will be testing. Just follow the path to your left. Okay, we can take these off now. It's a path to my left. Path to my left. Awesome. awesome. Like I told you, humans are apparently not very good at memorization. In order to measure just how bad you are and to improve our data storage techniques, you will be playing a memorization game. It is very easy. The concrete blocks will be scrambled and you need to remember the correct order. After the pattern disappears, you have to rebuild it. This is a very amusing game, so please have fun. Okay, red, yellow, white, orange, black. Red, yellow, white, orange, black. Black, red, orange, yellow, white. Black, red, orange, yellow, white. Okay, let's see. White, orange, red, yellow, black. White, orange, red, yellow, black. Perfect. Yellow, red, orange, black, white. Yellow. Crap, that was yellow. And I stuffed it because I already put that down. I can't break them. Misplaced the wrong one. It's alright. Let's see. Yellow, red, black, orange, white. So this one is yellow, red, black, Orange, white. It's better. Red, yellow, black, orange, white. Red, yellow, black, orange, white. Red, yellow, white, black. Red, yellow, white, black. Black, which means the last one must be orange. Okay, let's do this. Red, yellow, black, white. Red, yellow, black. White, so the last one must be orange. No? Oh! Okay, interesting. It's actually not bad for a human. That is. 
Do you know the effort? It says just in case another to his speed. Oh, there right. To complete three laps in the shortest time possible. No set lot count from then on your time will be measured. The average of all times will be the result. We will judge you upon. Oh okay, I'm with it now. Oh I see. This is hard because like you can't don't kind of see you gotta kinda bounce over it at speed. Oh those sneaky bastards. Crap no Can't go that way anyway. This is going to be painful. Because I already stuck at parkour as it is, and now I've got a speed boost to worry about. Goodness. This will trip me up every time, I reckon. This is this is surprisingly hard. I'm cheating you guys I was up there by chance. Crap so close I've got to press shift. Forget that jump. I jumped too late. Mainly, if you have been watching my videos as of late, I have been getting a little better at my parkour. That's better. I need to really ace that to get my time, so this is going to be sh shocking. <laughs> it's um, watching me fail at parkour time. Oh, come on. Nope. Dan started doing maps himself. I never have someone else to do the parkour for me. So for those of you who are not aware, in a lot of my older videos, um, when I could, when time allowed, uh, Blue Pug Sensei 90, who's actually a lot better at parkour than what I am, used to do any parkour bits for me off camera, and then I would continue on from there. Because obviously, as you can all tell, my parkour skills utterly suck. I'm trying to jump, I'm pushing that space bar. This speed boost is driving me insane. Like I do push that space bar, I promise you all. Speed boost is making it so damn hard 
do it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I do not want to fall off. Crap. Okay, let's take that direct. Okay, I see what that's happening now. Well, parkour. This isn't a test of my speed. This is a test of my parkour skills, which suck, by the way. Great. Yep, welcome to my shitty parkour attempts. Numbers 1000. Yeah, I really need to be careful with maps like this because I'm not sure whether that uh, going into creative mode earlier qualified as cheating. It probably does now. Here we go, my dreaded ne nemesis. Got it that time. There we go. Right, I'm gonna get to the end of this, guys. At some point, I'll probably just cut to the end of this right about here. Well, we'll see how things go. If I keep failing at this parkour, I'll probably just cut to the end of this um, lap for the purposes of the of time saving time on the video. Gosh, look at that score. Okay, I'm going to do a tiny bit of cheating here because well, we're not going to get through this. And he never said otherwise. Just the particle pieces here. Because otherwise, I suck. I'll stand creative mode and I'll run the rest, I promise. But I'll adventure it in a second. But he did technically never say, he just clearly said in the rules, um, don't use trigger. Which I have not done so far. So I already still have an atrocious time. Anyway, so... Like I'm going to attempt things like that where it's really easy and I know that I can do it pretty quick. Like I said, I'll be fair to the map creator and I will do most of this in... Um, in the way it was intended to be done. But not this bit. And this bit will run along. So I'm just going to, for now, just skip over those bits. Because we all know what it's like. And we all know how I go. Whereas this, I know I've been able to do it a few times now without any worries. My time is still terrible on it, but... Just that the creative uh, does not... Help as much as you might think it does. Jump right over the mark. So as you'll see, all these bits that, are, that I can definitely do, rely on the speed buff alone, I will do. Um, but more to the point for both my time purposes and for the time purposes of the video, just going to skip over the big park or stuff. And it's technically not cheating because the rules never said that you couldn't change your game mode. I'm sure it was a given, but most maps say it. In fact, basically every map that I play has said, you know, something about don't changing, not changing your game mode because it's part of cheating. 
This one did not specify that. Yeah, so that was that was terrible to evaluate your results. It turns out each time I was the result is very bad. To try again, right? Let's uh, really just try and proceed this as quickly as we possibly can, because we can't proceed unless we ace this um, thing. I'd at least like to proceed in this one more time. So did the timing system fail by chance? I think I actually broke the map. Let's um, just go on to game mode adventure quick. So I think my little antics just broke the map. That's alright. Right, well, maybe... Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. See, I thought I'd done this, but then it's the hand. It looked like it started timing me again. Which time was that? You could just proceed, go. But it's not timing me, so whether I've. Was the malfunction or something? Not 100% sure. Alright, I'll try and run this. See if I can see anything that may have changed along the running course. By chance. It doesn't appear like anything's changed on the running course. I mean, theoretically, I could have done that, but I thought I'd be fair to the map creator at the time. But alright, guys, um, I think that's going to be it for this video, as I seem to have um, broken the map through kind of cheating, but not really cheating, because technically was not in the rules to not do that. And I am following all the rules at the moment. So I'll have to have a look, see if I have actually broken the map, and I'll have a look off camera. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video and want to see more of it, like, enjoy this map, I mean, yeah, if you enjoy this map and would like to see more of it, please comment down below and like the video. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!